well, they get, how is this going to affect cryptocurrency? Now, again, cryptocurrency is in an infant, is it, it's still in its infancy. We could, it could still be killed, so they think. Um, I, I happen to think that it cannot, but they believe that it can be, and they're tr they're doing everything they can to cripple it, and, or at least suck as much money out of it as they can. Uh, uh, and that's what so that's what's going on. This is from CoinDesk. U.S. Senate sends infrastructure bill infrastructure bill to the House. The bill contains a broad definition, and this is really where the the fight was. Right. This is where the, the debate was. The bill contains a broad definition of broker for crypto tax reporting requirements that lawmakers and industry advocates sought to change over the past week. And, and as I mentioned, last Tuesday, I thought that they had agreed to change it. And it seemed like they did to get people on board. And then when they got on board, then they went back and said, nope, we're not going to change it. Um, the U.S. passed the bipartisan infrastructure bill. We all know that the bill, which de dedicates one trillion dollars to infrastructure improvements over the next ten years, including roughly five hundred fifty billion in new spending, drew controversy from crypto community due to the pay f pay for that and anticipates raising twenty eight billion dollars from a broadened crypto tax provision. So again, now the SEC controls the um, the markets right for stocks and, and such um, they we all know that the IRS does not recognize crypto as a stock it is property but they want to regulate it like a stock in the sense that anybody who has anything to do with it they want to they want reporting uh, uh, earlier this year I talked about the reporting requirements for financial institutions that one of the goals of the Biden administration is to require all financial institutions to report every transaction that you make in your banking account to the IRS so they can verify what what your income and expenses are um, Kind of the same thing going on here in cryptocurrency. The problem is, is that a lot of the people that are uh, crypto is anonymous. Much of a crypto is anonymous, so they're putting a big burden on people like and also miners, the, the crypto miners, and how they get it. They don't have they don't have a third party, so how are they supposed to report a 1099 and and uh, uh, all the reporting requirements of this bill? They they didn't answer that question, uh, uh, so that's question. So now many people, are, well, the house will fix it. Don't don't bet on it. The house isn't going to fix anything in this. They want more money, not less. And I don't believe that the crypt and there's no, you know, especially in the uh, in the Senate, as you we all know, they needed 60 votes. So they needed some Republicans in the House. They don't need any Republicans, even with the seven uh, seat majority. They don't need Republicans. They just need a majority. And so they're not going to compromise. They're not going to change the bill in any meaningful way. At least I don't believe they will. The provision expands the definition of broker, leading to concerns that the Internal Revenue Service might seek to impose bro broker information reporting requirements on non-broker entities such as miners, as I just mentioned. So this really goes back to the IRS, right? And advocates, that's why it fits so well in my te today's tax talk. Uh, advocates for crypto industry pushed back on the provision, leading to lawmakers introducing amendments to try to modify the language. Senators have some several Republicans, some Democrats propose explicitly defining which types of entities are brokers, but that didn't pass. Uh, th then they tried to lo a lower one, uh, a less restrictive one, and that didn't pass. Ultimately, no amendments were considered, and the Senate voted to, to discuss only the base bill late on Sunday night. They needed a, a hundred percent to change anything. Oh, you know, all hundred senators had to agree. A last-ditch effort to add a compromise amendment was scuttled on Monday uh, as senators proposed a new amendment that needed unanimous consent to pass under the Senate's procedural rules. Uh, Senator Shelby objected to the provision, and so it didn't pass. The in infrastructure bill will now go to the House, which is expected to take up the issue on, in the autumn. In, in autumn, The crypto provision faces bipartisan opposition there as well, with representatives, you know, um, all expressing an interest in modifying the language. Uh, all there is a de couple Democrats in there, so maybe uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't I don't I don't hold my breath on this. I don't I don't think that it'll. I think it'll go as written. It's unclear much of the leeway of the House will have to modify the bill, and they won't have much leeway. How the two competing cryptocurrency policies began a conversion a conversation on digital rights. 
Okay, so so here, and I think I think this is the story where they they point out the age of most of the senators, and how many in their age bracket don't even know what cryptocurrency is, never heard the term, and that we're looking to them to define the what a broker is and define the rules on a on a technology they don't even understand. Um, that's not that's not new. Right. They, this happens, uh, especially in the in the Senate. Senate de- deliberations continued over the weekend. We all know that they're over. Uh, as we know, cryptocurrency is a digital asset that more and more people are investing in. We all know that because that's why we're watching this, the Crypto Tuesday, because we because there's lots of crypto investors. Cryptocurrency investors are un, uh, unhappy with the new tax provision. And we've already talked about that tax provision. They have to provide 1099s. Uh, so let's lead. I'll read a little bit about this. The, the bill identifies a broker as anyone responsible for and regularly providing any service effectuating transfers of digital assets on behalf of another person. And anyone thus identified would be subject to tax reporting requirements. That appears to include people like miners who use a proof of work system, as which is what mining is. Miners don't have customers, so they wouldn't be able to get access to information necessary to complete a 1099 form. Uh, Digital rights nonprofit, the Electronic Frontier Organization. Uh, I, I'm very familiar with the Electronic Frontier Foundation. I, I have uh, early in the in 1999 and 2000, uh, I have a master's degree in information technology law, and much of that has to do with privacy and digital privacy. And so the Electronic uh, Fr- Frontier Foundation has been at the cutting edge of a lot of that, uh, and it's all about privacy. Uh, the f- foundation wrote, okay, so uh, crypt- 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 cryptocurrencies decentralized financial system and its blockchain transactions don't tie information to an individual, but rather the, to a series of transactions that came before. Thus, cryptocurrency marketplace do not easily allow for collection and reporting of information. Well, again, this is this is what they want. They want they. It makes it difficult. They don't want it to be difficult. They want all the information. They want every dollar you that transacts everywhere, so they can attach it and get their end. Uh, and if you don't, if they don't get their end, then you're you're a a, a, cro- a crook, and you deserve to go to pr- to prison. And that's the just the, the position that the IRS takes. So I get that a lot. Well, what what kind of income do I have to report to the IRS? All kinds from whatever source. That's the answer. So from whatever source you get income from, you're supposed to report it to the IRS. Um, the tax provision has met pushback. I'm not going to talk about that because we know that the pushback didn't work. The debate over who should be exempted from financial reporting, we, that was the fight. Who's going to be exempted from this? And the answer is nobody. Okay, uh, How cryptocurrency fits into the infrastructure bill. In my mind, it does not fit into the, except for how to pay it. That's how it fits into the infrastructure bill. Uh what does Bitcoin have to do with railroads and bridges? A lot right now in the U.S. Congress. One way lawmakers propose to pay for the one trillion infrastructure. So again, that's the way that it, that's the connection to infrastructure. How are they going to pay for it? Uh, the plan could raise twenty eight billion in revenue over ten years. Uh, I think you know that that's a guess. They have no idea, and especially the way the market's going, it's more and more assets in. Then that that number will grow uh, exponentially. At least that's the that's the uh, anticipation.